When using Energy Plus outside an interface, begin by using EP Launch. EP Launch may be found in the main Energy Plus install folder, or it may be accessed using the Start menu, selecting the current Energy Plus Programs group, EP Launch. The Single Input File tab of EP Launch allows you to select an Energy Plus input file, in this case, one of the example files which are installed under the main Energy Plus install folder. The input file may be edited using a text editor or using the special IDF editor for Energy Plus input. If the input file does not require a weather data file, select the No Weather File option under Weather File. If the input file does require a weather file, select the desired weather file by locating it on the system. In this case, the weather data file is located in the Weather Data folder under the, the main Energy Plus install folder. However, Energy Plus weather files may be stored anywhere on your system. This particular input file has no output files, so most of the view results buttons are not active. However, the drawing file button is always active. This provides an option to generate a DXF drawing of the building without running a full simulation. When ready to run the simulation, press Simulate. The DOS box will show the progress of the simulation a status box will appear when the run is complete. Using the All button under View Results, you can see which particular output files exist for this particular run. Energy Press produces many different types of output files, many of which are optional. Hover over a button to see a hint explaining what each output file contains. Opening the Errors output file show, displays in a text editor. The table's output file is generally produced in HTML format and opens in a browser. The variable's output file generally is produced in a spreadsheet format. The Help menu provides direct access to all of the Energy Plus documentation. And if you have multiple versions of Energy Plus installed on your system, Take note of the version stamp, which will always be displayed in the lower left corner of EP Launch. These are the basic steps for using EP Launch to edit an input file, run a simulation, and view output files.